Hello class, you're entering the final home stretch of the course with only two weeks left to go. In week seven, we're going to start our fourth writing situation, which is writing on literature. So as usual, we'll begin this essay this week and then continue it and end it uh, next week at the end of week eight, which will also be our final for um, this course. All right. Now, um, before I get too much into literature and how to respond to it, I do want you to take a minute and reflect on the writing process. Um, and basically what I'd like you to do is in your own paragraph, uh, describe your writing process. Does it match um, kind of the five steps that um, have been given in our Bedford textbook? Or would you describe the writing process in your own way? Maybe you would come up with your own little diagram or chart for it. So I want you to be honest about it. This is just one way to view the writing process and it's a common way, but it doesn't have to be the accurate way for everyone. So take a minute um, and respond to this question in the worksheet and then come back and I'll explain what we're doing this week. All right, so for the learning objectives, there are only two for right now. One is to learn the characteristics of the literary analysis genre, which you'll learn by reading chapter 12, and then learning how to analyze literature. And again, chapter 12 will show you how to do this, and we'll do an exercise this week to help you with it, and even your reading response paper for this week will introduce you to this genre of writing. Now, before I have you go and read chapter 12, I do want to just give you a few tips on how to find meaning in literature. And the reason I want to do this now is because there is a short story in chapter 12 um, that you are going to read and that you're going to respond to for reading response four. So I want to give you this information now so that as you're reading that short story in chapter 12, you already know what to look for and what had to be expecting. Okay. So um, unlike informative or academic writing, literary works do not directly state what the reader should learn from the text. And unlike, you know, non-literary works, there may be more than one correct interpretation or answer for what a literary work means. And sometimes that throws students off. Um, your teachers for literature aren't looking for you to provide the right answer because there's often more than one right answer. So below are some strategies to help you find meanings um, in a short story. Often um, consider why the author titled the piece in the way that they did. Usually they're trying to give you a clue in their title. Uh, second, focus on how the story ends. Um, how does the ending make you feel? What has changed in the lives of the characters, especially the main character? And how have the characters changed or what have they learned? Right? Is there a final image or phrase at the end of the story? So knowing how things resolve usually gives us a sense of what the author wants us to learn from the story. And then third, uh, what words, phrases, or symbols does the author or do the characters keep repeating or state throughout the story or poem? All right, sometimes you'll even find that there's a phrase in the story that is the title of the work. And oftentimes that's kind of a big clue um, as to what the author wants you to take away. So in chapter 12, there's a short story called Clothes, okay? You'll be using this short story a lot this week. It's going to be what you write reading response four on. So when you're reading chapter 12 and reading through this short story, take good notes and pay attention to it, okay? In the worksheet, there are two questions I want you to answer immediately when you finish the story. One, what is your first impression of the story? And then two, what are your thoughts or feelings about the ending? How you answer both of those questions will really help you for reading response four that you'll do at the end of this week. And then next in the worksheet, there are additional questions. So at the end of the story, the textbook gives you a total of seven questions. I would like you to answer two of the questions under meaning in the worksheet and two of the questions under writing strategy in the worksheet. And you may choose whichever two uh, to respond to in both category. Okay. All right. So at this point, go ahead, go read chapter 12, which we'll discuss more about uh, the literature genre. And that's where you'll find the short story closes within chapter 12. So um, do that and then come watch part two and I'll kind of walk you through um, your major essay assignment and then lead you into how to write your um, reading response for that will be due this Sunday.